YouTube. Today I got a review of the Octopatara droid, which was a Walmart exclusive back in 2008 or 2009, and this is massive. Uh, you can see the uh, Vintage Collection Battle droid right down there. That's three inch, three and a half inch figure, so you can see a good size comparison between itself and the vehicle. So, uh, I'll go right into it. You can obviously see it's this massive tri droid thing that we saw in uh, the Clone Wars movie that came out in 2008. So it's pretty cool. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of nice sculpting work went into it. You can see uh, the blue pieces in the head are sculpted in. And the guns are each sculpted differently. And even inside this area, there's lots of nice sculpting work. Uh, the legs. Each sculpted the same, and then uh, it's got some good uh, articulation with it. Uh, you can see it's got the swivel head, as I showed earlier. Uh, it's legs is in a creak, very creaky swivel joint, and then there's a bunch of articulation here, here, and then these feet, toe pieces can be bent in, so that's pretty cool. It's just huge. <sighs> okay. It can be stood up pretty much completely out of frame. There we go. It can be that tall. So it's a little hard to display unless you got an open top shelf, but it's still pretty cool. Um, the headpiece is removable. Go into that real quick. You can see all the silvers, blues, and everything, all the panels sculpted in. And then uh, each gun did have a missile in it and a little hose that goes up into here. And then uh, there's a button on the bottom. And that would have fired out a red missile. But, you know, the years go by. It does have like these red eyes painted in. And then the silver doodad pieces all in there. So that's pretty cool. And then of course it does plug into the top there. So that's just the legs. That's how tall the legs are compared to the battle droid. So that's pretty crazy. Yeah. And, uh, there's not much else to go into. You know? It's tall, well articulated, and uh, it's pretty good. Army, or, uh, I suppose it's an army builder piece. You know, uh, looks good on display anywhere. And uh, one of the other features here is actually the uh, top of the top of the head opens, and there's a seat in there. It's a little dark for you to see, but it can have a pilot. Even though I don't like it when Federation vehicles have pilots because they're all automated. But you know, we make do. The head is actually a little too big for the uh, legs to accommodate that uh, seat in there, but oh well, right? You know, what are we going to do about it? It still looks cool. Uh, so, I'd say that's about all I got to say, and uh, may the force be with you. Hope you enjoyed. Definitely pick this up if you can. He's uh, really, really cool.